When your Starbucks matches your jacket, you know you're winning at life. Let's be real. Let's be real. Did I just dab? Slightly. Hello honeys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now then, I don't normally wear my hair like this, but my hair is a grease ball, so we've slicked it back. We've gone for the slick rick look, you know. But if you are just joining me now then, thank you so much for joining me, and my name is Imogen. I don't know how you stumbled across my channel, but if you could stay, I'd really appreciate it. Also Huns, I just need to tell you this, how cute is this? You know I call you honeybees, Huns, my honeys. Well, I went and bought this little H, it's a little H necklace for honeys. And then, I mean, I think it's a fly, I don't know. No, but it looks like a bee. So we're just gonna go with it that it's a little bee. I mean, it's probably a wasp, it's probably a fly. Got two necklaces on today and it's H for honeys. And the little bee, honeybees. Cause you're my honeybees. I think I'm more excited about that than anyone else will be, but. Today we're doing my top 10 beauty hacks. I actually have a lot more than 10. I'm not saying that I'm some beauty guru, but you know, I like a hack. I love watching hack videos, so I thought that I'd bring this to you today. I'm also gonna make it a little bit shorter than normal because my videos are really long and I understand that not everyone has the chance to just sit down and watch half an hour of Imogen. I don't even know why anyone would want to anyway, but if you really like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel, then hit the subscribe button. I think there's a little photo of me down here or down here. Don't know where she is. She's here, but there's a little photo of her. Ah, whatever. If you like this video and you want me to do more then, please let a girl know. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Why did you do that? Got my little order written down on my phone because obviously Imogen's not organized in the slightest. The first one that I've got is a dupe, but it's also a beauty hack, kinda, because a dupe is a beauty hack, I guess. But I love this one so much. This is like a little secret that I'm sharing with you. Basically, I researched the ingredients of MAC Fix Plus, even though it's on the bottle, so stop even talking, Imogen. It's exactly the same as the Nivea Refreshing Toner, normal and combination skin. MAC Fix Plus is quite expensive, so we don't really wanna break the bank. Well, if you don't wanna break the bank, this is the exact same. So it has the glycerin in it, which I think is a sugar water. It's something like that. My dad says he uses it for cake, so I guess it's something to do with that. Anyway, it's got glycerin in it, just like the Fix Plus. Just gonna make your makeup tacky for when you're applying highlight. So I like to put this on after I've done my liquid highlight, spray it all over my face, and then put my powder highlight over the top, and it's just gonna make it pop. I also do this just before I do my makeup and also just after to set the makeup. It's gonna lack their makeup in place. So I bought this bottle from Superdrug which was one pound. So for a tenth of the price we've got our own MAC Fix Plus. Ah, let's give that baby a spray. Why do I seem to talk? Why do I seem to talk when I'm spraying my face? Let's be real, it's a toner as well. So when we're out and about we're toning our face. Next one. I want to show you how I tint my brows. When tinting my brows, I like to use the dye brow and I use black. I get the eyebrow tint in black just because obviously I know I haven't got black hair, but I like to get a stage up, stage up. I like to get a tone darker than my natural hair just because I feel like it makes those brows look like Cara. I like a defined brow. My beauty hack for when I'm tinting my brows is this tape. This is the medical tape from Superdrug. You can get this anywhere. I'll link everything I'm talking about below today. I like to take this tape because it has a straight edge. It gives us those angles that sometimes we don't naturally have. For the middle section, I cut it in half and place it in the front. When I've placed it there, I automatically will always get a straight edge. Sometimes my hairs are a bit sparse. They're all a bit over the place. Apparently everything's dropping on the floor. Thank you. I take two centimeters of the cream with five drops of the fluid and then I swirl it around with my brush and then I start applying. You can take this tape and put it wherever. You can put it along the top, you can put it along the bottom, because it has that naturally straight edge, so it's going to give you those angles that we all love and desire. Maybe some of us don't, but I do. So what I like to do with this little spoolie that they give you is take off any excess and make sure it's really defined. This gives you a really defined angle, and every time I'm using it, I'm just wiping it off with a face wipe. I'm also going to place the tape at the side, because it's going to give me that arch that I want getting those brows arched. My other beauty hack for when doing my brows is to take a angled liner brush. This is the Spectrum A17 brush. Now, they are extremely defined, so I'm gonna get those angles, and also, it allows me to be extremely precise. So I leave it for 10 minutes with the tape in place, then I take off the tape, I take it off with any missile water or any face wipe. When wiping, ensure that you don't swipe down onto your face. When you wipe, you wanna stop where it ends, otherwise you're gonna get dye all over your face, and let's be real, we don't want that. We don't want that. This is another top tip of mine. I actually use my eye cream around my lips to plump them. So this Mario Badesco Hyaluronic Eye Cream has hyaluronic acid in it. Hyaluronic acid is known for producing collagen. The eye area is extremely thin, just like the area around our lips. So, hum buns, this is gonna plump your lips. I like to use this in the morning and the night. In the night, if you use it, you wake up in the morning and you're like, sorry, sorry what? The lips are like, Phew. I like it. I never actually place it on my lip in the center. I'm placing it all around the edge 
and I'm just gonna let that sit and dry. Thank you, Maria Bonesco. I agree. It just plumps, it plumps it. Like it's gonna lift those dark circles, it's gonna lift our lips. It's gonna lift our lips. So if I'm going for a very subtle makeup look, let's say it's a summer makeup look and I don't want to wear a lot of makeup and I don't want to wear a lot of powders, what I'm going to take is my L'Oreal Infallible Blush Paint and I'm going to actually apply this to my cheeks before I put on my foundation. By putting on this cream blush just before I put on my foundation, it gives you that lit from within glow which we all want. It also makes it look more natural. Say you're going out in the daytime and you don't want to look cakey. Let's be real, in the summer sun huns, we don't want to be looking like we're wearing anything. Applying this with my beauty blender and just blending it in, it looks a little bit harsh at the beginning. Take my new favourite at the moment, my Maybelline Dream Cushion in the shade Fawn, and I just apply it over the top very lightly, and it's going to give you that little flush look without applying any powder, so it looks like a natural flushed cheek. You know you know. Next one, and I'm loving this one, is taking a hairspray and a spoolie brush instead of using a brow gel to set those brows. If we want a really natural brow, sometimes brushing brow gels into it makes them look quite harsh and quite thick. You can take any hairspray, I took my Elnit Satin one, extra strength, and any spoolie brush, mine's on the end of this one, this one is the Morphe M158, and spray it all over. Not only is this going to lock your brow hairs in all day, every day, whilst also creating body and volume, it's not going to look too thick and heavy. Natural brows add a way forward. I don't know whether mine are looking that natural at the moment, but okay. I actually really like doing these videos. Oh, it's so cute! I've used this trick for years, wearing lipstick as eyeshadow on the bottom line. Wow. Wow. So I take this one, which is extremely bright, and it's the coral colour, shocking coral, and it's number 145 from GOSH. When we're applying eyeshadows onto the top of our lids, what do we put on? We normally put like MAC Soft Ochre, or we put concealer there, because we're priming our eyelids. Why do we not prime the bottom? Whatever goes on the top must come down, remember hum. The reason I like using lipstick as an eyeshadow before I put the eyeshadow on is because it makes it so pigmented, but it makes your eye makeup on the bottom line last all day. This is extremely pink at the beginning and you can leave it like that and it will stay all day if you get a good lipstick. But then I took my hashtag from the Violet Voss palette and oh my god this will last all day because the cream product underneath the powder product is going to allow it to sit. That way you get a lipstick and you also have got an eye makeup product. I know that this isn't the same colour as the eyeshadow that I've used but it's going to make it pop and I like wearing oranges and pinks underneath my eyes because I just feel like it makes my eye makeup just stand out even more so. So that's another top tip of mine. I like it. The brighter the lipstick, the better for me. You can take me later. Just applied it with my flat definer brush from Sigma, the E15, because that gives me a lot of precision. Then I went over with my eyeshadow color and my Sigma pencil E30. This is a cute one. So to get extra volume with our lashes, let's be honest, Huns, we're not all born with amazing lashes. Well, I certainly wasn't. I love you, Mum and Dad, but they didn't bless me with the longest eyelashes. They blessed me with a really funny personality and amazing makeup skills. Joking! Definitely not the makeup skills part, but the personality bit I'll take any day. Anyway, so you can take any translucent powder, but I take baby powder just because it's cheaper and you get so much more for your money in it. So what I'm gonna do is I just get any cap from any bottle and I just put the baby powder in the bottom. But to get my length at the beginning, I take my L'Oreal Telescopic. Then what I'm gonna do is take my Spectrum A06 brush, you can take any brush at all, and then dab it into the baby powder and put that onto the lashes while they're wet. Now obviously you wanna get dropped down, but you can get rid of those because you wouldn't have done your foundation beforehand, hopefully. <laughs> You can wipe it off with a face wipe. Okay, so then I'm going to apply this to my lashes and it's going to look a bit funny. I understand. It looks like you've got baby powder, which you do, in your lashes. And afterwards I'm going to take my false lash sculpt by L'Oreal as well. L'Oreal sort of a gel out today. And then I'm going to apply this straight on top of the first coat of mascara and the baby powder. The baby powder is going to act as a thickener. It's going to allow this product to pick up the baby powder and it's going to give you extra volume and it's going to act as extra fibres. It just, I don't even know, don't even ask me why, it just makes your lashes look so voluminous and thick. I don't have lashes and it sometimes without false lashes I can go out with that. Two mascaras and some baby powder and you're loving your life. Sometimes I don't want to wear false lashes. I mean I know I am today but I don't want to wear them all the time Hans. Do you know what I mean? We've got to give our eyes a break. Oh the next one is also about lips. Let's get those lips plumping. Plumping, plumping. Okay so what I do is I take my peppermint oil which you can get from any health store. I got this from Holland and Barrett and I'm going to take any lip gloss, I've got the Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline from NYX, and I put two drops, only two, you don't need any more, straight into my lip gloss, and this is going to act as a natural lip plumper, and trust me, Hans, you feel it. You can buy lip plumpers, and they're so expensive. This one, you have so much in this, and you can apply it to any lip gloss, and there you go. They be plumping, they be 
pumping. My lip gloss be popping. My lip gloss be cool. All the boys keep checking. They check me after school. What you know about me? Stop. Next one. Can you see the glow here? Can you see the glow? If you can't see the glow, then I don't want to know. I quite like that one. Okay, Majun. In the summer, actually in the winter as well, I like to be a glowing goddess. But in the summer, we get more of our body parts out. You know. So, today, can you see that? Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. But what I do is I take my Dove Goodness Silky Body Oil. You can take any body oil, but I really like this one because it already has glitter particles in it anyway. So we're going to shine. You can take any liquid highlighter. I take my NARS Copacabana Illuminator because I'm obsessed with this. You can use anything, but I like to take this one. I mix the two together on the back of my hand or anywhere. I take this retractable bronzer brush from Real Techniques. You can take any big buffing brush or you can take a tanning mitt. You can take whatever you want. And I rub it in together and then I'm going to apply it all over my body. So I put it on my legs. I mean, I didn't put it on my legs here because I've got hairy legs, hun, so I'm not getting those out. But when I'm going on a night out, I like to apply this all over my body. And in those pictures, not only is your highlight popping here, your highlight is popping all over your body. Okay. So, hun, my last one, and I love this one, is taking an eyebrow pencil as a lip liner. I find that sometimes in lip liners, they come too light. Realistically, you're probably meant to wear a lip liner that's the same colour as your lipstick, but... I guess I don't really like that. I'm not really about that life. So I like to take an eyebrow pencil because this eyebrow pencil as a lip liner, not only are you getting this as an eyebrow pencil, so if you're out and about and you haven't got your lip liner, you've got your eyebrow pencil you can use as a lip liner. I like to take an eyebrow pencil as a lip liner because it just gives me extra contour to my lips. I like to pat it in so it's not so harsh, but you can have this as defined and as dark as you want, or you can go even lighter than you want. I feel like the eyebrow pencils are even more pigmented and they last longer than lip liners. I don't know what it is, but I like this one. Okay, so we're done. I think that was a quick video. If you do like watching these videos, then please like it, give it a massive thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel, because I'd like to do even more of these for you. If you're new to my channel, then you won't know this, but I do these really random song games at the end of my video, and you have to guess the song. So, without further ado, let's mime a song, and you gotta guess it. Why do I even do this game? It's just because I like it, okay? I talk to myself a lot. Hello, my name's Imogen, and I'm an absolute weirdo. you recreate any of these looks, I was about to say, if you use any of these beauty hacks, then please let me know. Make sure you Snapchat me, Instagram me, do whatever you got to do. Tag me in things. I love it. I love it so much because you my honey bees. You know, you know. I'll link all of my social media handles down below and also any products that I've used today, I'll link down below. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for supporting me on this journey. You have no idea. Oh my God, I was feeling so emotional yesterday. If you watch my Snapchat, I was crying because... I don't even know. I'm an emotional weirdo. You know that. I'm just so grateful. I could never, ever explain it to you how grateful I am. I love you all so much. Me and my Starbucks, which I haven't actually drunk because I've been talking so much. I'm going to love you. And we're going to leave you. <laughs> it's warm and melted. It means I've got to go get another one, you know.